Hi everyone and welcome to this webinar. My name is Miles Vivek and I'm a senior user educator at Zoho and I'll be your host for the webinar. This is a pre-produced webinar and you're probably watching this on our webinar webpage. So you must be able to see a chat window to your right bottom of the screen. You can post your questions there and our team will be there to answer them for you. Let's quickly take a look at the agenda for this webinar. So we will be starting the session with an introduction to the extension widget and we'll move on to the demonstration of how it works. And then I'll move on to showing you how to integrate Zoho CRM, Expense and Zoho Desk using this extension widget. And also I'll cover third party applications as well like Zendesk, Clearbit and Asana. So uh, let's get started. As long as it's been around, email has been at the heart of communication in business. Every organization needs email services, and we at Zoho Mail are here to find ways to make email better for every employee. Zoho Mail has been focusing on optimizing the email experience for you. Since its inception, by bundling streams, notes, tasks, and bookmarks into a single platform, we serve more than 10 million users around the world and this motivates us to keep innovating. Today's webinar focuses on introducing you to our latest update, the extension widget, and bringing you up to speed on how to use it. Let me brief you on what drove us to develop the extension widget. We understand that most organizations use multiple services to run their business, like project management software, ticketing tools, or a CRM. So we thought, hey, wouldn't it be better if you could access all those tools from your email and maybe even send data from your email content to them? And the obvious answer was yes, it would be awesome. And that's why we went ahead and created the extension widget, which allows you to integrate other applications with Zoho Mail and exchange data. And for the sake of convenience, I'm going to be calling the extensions widget as eWidget from now on. So the eWidget integrates with Zoho products like Desk, CRM, Expense, Books, Invoice, Inventory Subscription, Projects, and Vault. And we've also integrated with third-party tools like Zendesk, Asana, Full Contact, and Clearbit. So let me tell you why we built the eWidget. We know that sometimes emails bring in information that you would want to use to create tasks, leads, or tickets in other tools. So instead of going back and forth between your inbox and the other tools, we decided to bring those tools into your inbox through eWidget. Now that I've told you why the extensions widget was created, let's jump into how to use it. First things first, let me show you where your extensions widget is. Click on the eWidget icon, which looks like a plug in the bottom right corner of your Zoho Mail screen. And you can see all the integrated applications listed. You can disable any of these extensions by going to settings, which is in the top right corner, and then general. Click on view in the integrations box to see all the available apps. Use the toggle button to enable or disable apps. So this is how basically the eWidget functions. Now let's jump into how you can use each of these applications from within Zoho Mail. Let's start with Zoho CRM. Zoho CRM helps you engage with your customers and predict their behavior as well as manage your leads and convert them into customers. When you click on Zoho CRM from the extensions widget, you'll see two options, create lead and create contact. If you click on an email from your inbox and then click on Zoho CRM from extensions widget, you can see a list of all the email addresses from that email in the drop down list. If any of the email addresses are already associated with a contact in your CRM, you'll be able to see their info, potentials, and activities. You can edit their information too. Just click on the three dots and select edit to make changes to any of the details. When you're done editing the contact, you can click save. Now, when you open an email that contains email addresses that aren't contacts or leads in your CRM, clicking on Zoho CRM from the extensions widget will bring up a form for creating a lead. All the account details from the email will be auto-populated for you. 
You can also save that email address directly as a contact by clicking on contact, which is right next to lead. Let's say you want to convert a lead to a contact. When the leads are shown in the extensions widget, click on the three dots, select convert, and your lead is now a contact. If you ever want to view more details about a CRM contact or lead, you can open Zoho CRM in a new tab by clicking on the pop-out icon next to the three dots. You can also delete a CRM lead or contact from the extensions widget by clicking on the three dots and then selecting delete. Getting into the finer details, you can add deals and activities to a contact through the extension widget. You can add activities to a lead as well. When you have a contact open in the extensions widget, all you need to do is click on deals and select create deal. A form will open, enter the amount, deal name, and closing date. Then choose an account name from the drop down list. Finally, add the stage of the contact or lead as well as the expected revenue and click save. Now click on activities next to deal if it is a contact and next to info if it is a lead. From here, you can create a task, event, or call. Enter the details in the respective forms and click save to create that activity. You can also leave notes. Just click info and scroll down to add note. Give your note a title and description, then click save. Need to quickly pull up some information about a contact or a lead? You can also click on their email address right from an email and select view CRM info from the drop down list to do so. So now that we have covered the Zoho CRM capabilities available through the extensions widget, let's move on to the next integration. Let's take a look at Zoho Expense. Zoho Expense is an online expense reporting software tailor-made for businesses to automate their expense report management and approval. When you have an email from your inbox open, clicking on Zoho Expense from the extensions widget allows you to either create an expense report from the content of the email to PDF using auto scan or scan the attachments of the email and generate an expense automatically. You can view your reports if you are part of the administration and have the appropriate permission. You will see another set of options in expenses through the extensions widget. When you click on report approvals, you can see report approvals, trip approvals, and advance approvals. Next, let me take you through how Zoho Books works within the e-widget. Zoho Books is a GSD ready accounting software that lets you send invoices, reconcile bank transactions, track inventory, generate reports, and file GST returns effortlessly. Like the other Zoho products on the extensions widget, you will be automatically logged into Book through the extensions widget as well. If you have an email open, Books will let you know if the sender isn't in your contact list. You can create a contact by clicking on the Create Contact option and the form will be populated with details from the email. There is an option to view your contact list in Books through the extensions widget. When the sender of an email is already a contact on Books, you can view their information through the extensions widget. You can also leave comments to share your thoughts. You can switch between organizations easily by clicking on the settings icon. The extensions widget is also equipped with other Zoho Finance apps like Zoho Invoice, Zoho Subscriptions, and Zoho Inventory. Zoho Invoice is an invoicing tool for small businesses and through the extensions widget, you can view contact details from invoice when an email is open. You can also create contacts from the extensions widget. Zoho Subscription is a subscription billing software and Zoho Inventory is an inventory management software. Both of these work like Zoho Invoice through the extensions widget. Mostly, all the information of an organization is confidential. Some of it may require more protection and Zoho Vault does that for you. Zoho Vault is an online password management software that lets businesses securely store, share, and manage passwords and other sensitive data. Through the extensions widget, you can view your secrets, secrets that have been shared with you, chambers, and even create a secret. Let's dive into how you can use Zoho Desk through the extensions widget. Zoho Desk is context-aware help desk software that helps businesses focus on their customers. With the extensions widget, you can raise a ticket, 
look into open tickets and more as you read an email. First, you need to set up your Zoho Desk account in Zoho Mail. Go to Integrations from General Settings, click on Zoho Desk, and choose a portal to set up on the extensions widget. Now you're ready to use Zoho Desk. Let's see how to view open tickets. Click on My Open Tickets from Zoho Desk in the extensions widget. Choose a department and all the open tickets will be displayed. You can also filter tickets by clicking on the filter icon. Just enter status or channel to only view tickets under a particular status in a channel. The most important feature is how you can handle unassigned tickets through the extensions widget. Click on unassigned tickets and you can see a list of unassigned tickets for each department. You can filter here as well, just like with your open ticket. When you click on an unassigned ticket, you can choose an assignee by clicking on change next to assign to. You can click on the edit icon to make any other changes to the task. As with Zoho CRM, you can redirect to Zoho desk from the extensions widget by clicking on the pop out icon next to edit. When you open an email and see that a ticket needs to be created, just open the extensions widget, click on Zoho desk and select create ticket. This will pull up a form that's automatically populated with content from the email. Make the necessary changes, if any, and click create. After creating the ticket, you can always make changes by clicking edit. Next, let's look at views. When you click on views, you can see a list of tickets based on department and type of ticket. You can also apply a filter based on the agent assigned to the ticket, ticket status, and channel. You can also choose one of the predefined views from the drop down list, which helps you view tickets that are requests for reviews, unassigned open requests, overdue cases, and so on. You can get to what you're looking for directly from the extensions widget. Last but not least, let me show you how to search for a ticket. Just click on search ticket and choose a department. Enter the requester's email address and all tickets associated with that email will be displayed. You can also look up tickets based on contact or ticket ID. Want to comment on a ticket? Yep, you can do that with the extensions widget too. Just type up your comment and click save. With that, we have covered how to use Zoho Desk through the extensions widget. Now let's move on to Zoho Projects. Let's look into how you can use Zoho Projects through the e-widget. Zoho Projects is our project management tool that helps you plan, manage, and track projects. It is highly collaborative and equipped with insightful reporting capabilities. Like the others, you need to choose a portal. From the drop-down list, you can view the recently accessed projects and all your projects. You can select a project and then proceed to choose a view to filter your tasks or bugs of the project. There are predefined views like all tasks, all open, all closed, and so on. You can also filter them using custom views like this week's priority or high priority. You can filter bugs the same way as well. When you have an email open and click on the plus sign to add a task, the form will be filled with data from the email. You can make changes to it and specify the task list, choose an owner and set the start date, end date, and the priority. You can also attach files for reference through the widget and click done to create a task. You can add a bug the same way and then fill in the form and click on done. When you click on a task or a bug, you can see three options on the top right corner. The first one is the pop out icon that will open Zoho projects in a new tab. You can use it to view a task or a bug in detail. The second option is to edit the task or bug. You can click on it, make the changes and click done. When you scroll down, you can leave comments and you can also view attachments by clicking on attachment right next to comments. To make the extensions widget more useful, we have also made it possible to work with third-party applications. Let's take a look at some of them. And since they are not Zoho products, you'll have to authenticate those accounts before using them through the extensions widget. Let's start with Zendesk, which is a ticketing tool like Zoho Desk. First, you need to log in and authenticate your Zendesk account in Zoho Mail. Enter your Zendesk subdomain and select Authenticate. A new tab will open with Zendesk's login page. Once you have logged in, you will be asked to grant permission 
to let Zoho Mail access your Zendesk account. Click Allow. Now head back to Zoho Mail and you'll see Zendesk is activated in your extension widget. Zendesk has a few different supported actions, just like Zoho Desk. You can view your open tickets, unassigned tickets, and views, as well as search through existing tickets and create new ones. Let's run through these one by one. First, when you click on open tickets, you can filter all your open tickets based on status, priority, and type. You can click on the pencil icon to edit an open ticket. And you can also redirect to Zendesk by clicking on the icon next to edit. Now with the unassigned tickets, you can filter based on status, priority, and type, add an assignee, and even edit the ticket details. Next from views, you can go through all your tickets based on recently updated, unsolved, recently solved, and so on. Searching through Zendesk tickets in extensions widget lets you look for any ticket using the ticket ID, requester name, or assignee name. Lastly, the extensions widget is most useful while creating tickets. When you have an email open, click on Zendesk from extensions widget. Select create ticket and your ticket is already filled with information from the email. All you need to do is edit it wherever necessary and you're done. I think we can all agree that Extensions Widget and Zendesk work great together. Zoho Extensions Widget has Clearbit and Full Contacts app as well. These apps are useful through Zoho Mail when you want to know more about the sender of an email or about anyone who has been copied in an email sent to you. Like the other third-party apps, make sure you authenticate your account through Zoho Mail. Now, when you open an email, you can choose the email address of the person you want to know more about on Clearbit and you can view their information and get links to their social media accounts. Full Contact works the same way as well. Asana, a project management tool integrated with the extensions widget is what we're going to be talking about next. Like we did with Zendesk, we need to first authenticate Asana in Zoho Mail. Open Asana on the extensions widget, then click Authenticate. Asana will open in a new tab and you will have to log into your account. Once that is done, head back to Zoho Mail and verify that the Asana integration has been set up. Finally, choose your workplace and you're good to go. You can see your simple menu containing My Tasks, Create Tasks, Search for Tasks, and Projects on your extensions widget. My Tasks will show all the tasks you have at hand. You can click on any task to make changes to due date, assignee, or a description. You can click the check mark icon next to a task to mark it as completed. Click on any task, scroll down, and add a comment to share your thoughts. When you have an email open and then click create task, the extensions widget will automatically fill in the task for you using information from that email. Moving on to simpler options, you can search for a task based on name or assignee. The projects option gives you a list of projects you have going on in Asana. Click on a project to bring up a list of tasks associated with that project. So that's it. We've completed our tour of the integrated apps on extensions widget. I'm sure now you know how much easier it is for you to work with other applications, including non Zoho third party applications from right within your Zoho Mail through the extensions widget. If you have any questions or need any clarifications, you can talk to us in the chat window or you can write to us at support at zohomail.com. So that's about it for today and I will see you soon in another webinar. And this is Miles Wivake signing off. Stay awesome.